Well, good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. It's another one of those very rare, but one of my favorite days here in Colorado where it snows before all of the fall color is gone from the trees. So I'm out this morning on one of my local favorite trails, hoping to get some of that winter fall color clash. Uh, I came to a spot that I made a video last year, uh, so I'll have that one linked up here if you guys want to check that video out. Unfortunately, this year though, the leaves are a lot more brown and not nearly as yellow and vibrant as they were last year. So I'm going to head a little bit further up the trail and see if I can find something a little bit different from last year. So now for this scene here, Fortunately, the light in the top right here is starting to poke through just a little bit, but I really like how this giant majestic cottonwood really takes over the top part of the frame, but then across the bottom here are all of these cattails with some snow just clinging to them. So I'm going to focus in about midway through the scene here, like around there, and at F10 that should get just about everything in sharp focus. So set at f10, ISO 100, about 35 millimeters. Really like this bright, beautiful, warm light just coming through the clouds. We'll see how that one looks. Unfortunately, this image ends up not quite working the way I'd hoped. There's a lot of conflicting detail and the overall scene while really nice in person, just feels a bit busy in this final image. So not bad, but also not great. And so next what I'm gonna do is actually focus in just on these cattails themselves. They're getting a lot of the warm light that's poking through the clouds right now. Let's zoom in. And I'm gonna focus in right like that on the front of them. Probably come down even just a little bit more. Something a little bit different. Actually, I think I like that better. Thinking out loud here. Move over just a little. So now I've got this bunch of cattails right in the center of the frame, nice and sharp while the background falls out of focus. I have to open up the lens to 2.8 to get this to look this way. It's a nice, beautiful, warm backlight on this scene. F2.8, ISO 100, manually focused right in on this bunch of cattails. Perfectly nice and sharp. We'll see how this one turns out too. What I like most about this image are the tiny pieces of snow floating in the air, standing out between the subject and the blurred out background. I also think this one turned out quite well, so I decided to step back just a little bit and take a 65 by 24 panorama image of the same scene. I decided to walk just a little bit further up this trail than I was planning to because the sun came out ooh, just a little bit through the clouds over this way. And the last time I was here for this fall and winter collision, I photographed a bunch of cottonwood trees that were looking eastward at sunrise. And I think those turned out exceptionally well. And so today what I'm thankful for is over this way, the opposite direction, if I turn this way, right there, there's this big majestic cottonwood that's bright yellow. And it's the only one that really has any bright leaves changing. So I'm gonna walk about oh, another half mile or so up this trail, set up with a long telephoto lens, get some nice compression of the trail, that cottonwood, and if we're lucky, maybe even the mountains behind it, but I guess we'll see. So I'm gonna head up the trail a little bit further.
oh wow we're getting some really beautiful light on the tree right now too focus in right on the tree make sure everything's sharp and now I'm gonna fire off two images one here at f5 and the next one at f9 to get a little bit more of this trail in focus Thankfully, when this burst of bright, warm light illuminated the cottonwood tree, there was no wind whatsoever, so I didn't end up needing the faster shutter speed from the F5 image. This image was shot at F10, and thankfully, all the leaves were still, and I was able to get all of the details I wanted in a single exposure. Okay, so now that I'm all packed up, and I've got that image that I hiked over two miles for, head back down the way I came for this morning's original plan, which is to hike the north side of this trail, which should be a little bit different from the last time I was here. And also, fewer people on the trail. We got one coming this way and one coming this way, because you know how awkward it is to do one of these videos in front of people. Well, I made it up to the north end of the trail, and what I really like about this part so far, if you look behind me, is the S shape of this trail with the fresh snow. And there's all these tiny cottonwood leaves that have fallen from the wind, and they're just lightly sitting on top of the snow on the trail behind me. So I've got my 5DSR set up with the 16 to 35. I'm gonna set up a wide angle composition of this winding trail behind me, really trying to emphasize those fallen leaves sitting on top of the fresh snow and the winding trail snaking off into the distance. I've got the composition that I like all set up with the S shape of the trail leading back into the distance couple of these different leaves sitting along the edge of the trail leading back in towards this giant cottonwood overhanging with a bunch of leaves falling. It's really quite a nice scene. I'm definitely going to have to focus stack. I'm right at 16 millimeters and I don't think I'll get quite enough depth of field to get all of this in sharp focus. So I'm going to start with the foreground with these leaves up front. Make sure I get these in focus. And now focusing more on the midground, so a few feet in front of those leaves. Right there. And then lastly, I'll focus on the background, which for this purpose, I'll consider this giant cottonwood tree the background element. So each of these shot at F9, ISO 100. Be sure to let me know what you think. Now this image turned out not how I'd hoped. I really was hoping to emphasize the leaves in the foreground leading into the background along the winding trail, but they feel just a bit too far apart and the tall cottonwood tree in the background feels a little bit too distant from the leaves sitting in the snow up front. Maybe I'll take another shot at this scene the next time it snows. So now the other thing I've got to be really careful with with this composition is right behind me over here is another scene that I like a lot with a cottonwood leaf just sitting on top of the snow so being very deliberate to not step backward and somehow inadvertently ruin that scene. Well, I pulled out my 100 to 400 and I'm zoomed in nice and close on this cottonwood leaf sitting in the snow. 
and I managed somehow to not step on it in the process of setting up my last composition. So that alone is definitely a success. So I've got everything set up. Very simple composition of just this tiny cottonwood leaf sitting in the snow partially submerged and it's really got some beautiful coloring on it and I think this is a nice close-up image inspired by Andrew Baruffi. If you don't know his work, be sure to check that out. Andrew, if you're watching, I think you'll dig this one. F11 ISO 100. Focus right in on the leaf. Be sure to let me know what you think. When I photographed this scene, I was zoomed in quite far, almost 350 millimeters. So I actually had to focus stack three images to get all of the details in sharp focus. The areas I was most concerned about were the edge of the leaf, the center of the leaf, and the little bits of snow sitting in front of the leaf obscuring the other half. And with that image this morning, I think that will probably do it for me today. I'm going to sit down and have a nice cup of warm coffee, hopefully get the sensation back in my fingers. It's always a great morning when the conditions align quite like this with the snow and the fall color, overcast skies, so the light stays good all day long. I hope you enjoyed this morning's video. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you around in the next one.